At the Phoenix Zoo Commissary, hundreds of meals are prepared every day for the 1,400 animals living at the zoo. Spot 127's Marielle Sokolov takes a closer look at what exactly goes into the making of these meals. This is Denise Metcalf, a diet technician working in the commissary. She's talking about feeding the rhinoceros hornbill. The rhino hornbill is a tropical bird native to Southeast Asia. So they're tropical birds and they eat a lot of fruits. So I have um, a collection right here of everything that's going to gonna make a large mix of their food. And then we have several different hornbills, so I'm going to dish out the right quantities to each one. I'm heading to the Tropical Birds exhibit to see the rhino hornbill up close. Recently, one of the pairs of hornbills hatched a chick, so it's especially important that the birds get the proper nutrition. He's very selective on what he, what he picks out. The, the grapes and whatnot are the favorite. The male hornbill is picking out the most nutritious fruits to feed his month-old chick and the female hornbill. He's bringing them food because of how hornbills nest during hatching season. The female muds herself into a hollowed out tree just before laying the egg. She does this by building a wall with only a slit left open to receive food. For the next few months, she stays inside the tree with her newborn chick. In about a month, the female hornbill will emerge from her nest. The chick will stay in for a few more months before rejoining its family. Marielle Sokolov, Spot 127.